Hey, what is going on everyone and welcome back to Too Much Tech and in today's video we're going to be reviewing the creative, hold on let me get the box because it's a long name, SXFI Theater Super XFi Low Latency Wireless Headphones from Creative. Huge shout out to them for sending out this headset for review as well. So inside the box you're going to find a few things, obviously the headset, the mic, a USB Type-C cable because you can charge this headphone with USB Type-C which is really nice, a 3.5 millimeter cable, the manual, a USB extension as well as a USB receiver for the headphones. Now, again, this does use that 2.4 gigahertz low latency wireless technology. And in gameplay, I didn't notice any like weird lag or anything like that, like you would typically get if you were playing with Bluetooth and didn't really have a good Bluetooth receiver. But fortunately, you don't have to worry about that problem with this headset because the USB receiver does work really well. Now, these headphones are not gaming headphones, so they're not really marketed toward gamers. It's basically more of a home theater ish media consumption type of headphone but they do have another version that is basically the gaming equivalent of this and it probably has like more gamer focused features inside the software so potentially maybe I'll review that down the line as well but design wise they both look very similar in the software of this one there's a lot of things that are missing that you will probably find on a proper gaming headset which I didn't really think is a big deal because I'm strictly using it for the audio quality and if it can be used for gaming that's good enough for me but just want to start this review letting you know that that's not really the point of this headphone and the drivers themselves do sound really good I don't really think that anything is really overpowering except for maybe a little bit of the bass these are a little heavier on the bass but at the same time you know let's say that you're watching a movie or something that's supposed to have like a lot of action in it it is very nice to have you know that little bit more punchiness to the bass that makes it a lot more engaging and immersive which they really do a good job at giving you a full range of the sounds without really any one except for just that little bit of bass a bit more overpowering and you can obviously you know play with the equalizer and all that stuff in the software and change it up a little bit and it works to a certain degree but I feel like the bass is just still a bit strong now build quality wise this headset is pretty much all plastic and then you do have these thick leatherette pads now these leatherette pads are actually pretty comfortable they do get a little hot though because they're pretty much all leatherette and they're made to really just create a really good seal on your head and I do think that they are relatively comfortable but just after probably you know an hour or so it does get a little hot and you kind of got to vent it a little bit and your ears might get just a little sweaty so for feedback in the future I wish that maybe you just use leatherette on the outside of the ear cup and then use something else Else, like you know velour padding or something on the inside that way it makes it better for longer listening sessions again the construction is primarily plastic unfortunately there's not a ton of swivel range on the ear cups themselves there's just enough but I do wish that there was a little bit more and it would have been even better if you could completely swivel the bottom of the headset so that you could rest it on your shoulders I think that that would be great and that's something that all headphones really should have all your controls are going to be on the right ear cup so in the front you have your power button the jack to connect your microphone which is slotted so you do have one way to plug in the microphone so if it's not going in spin it around and then it should go in without a problem but don't force it then below that you have your usb type c port and a 3.5 millimeter jack if you want to use this headphone wired and then you have a mute button your volume controls and then the super x by surround sound mode and then here you do have a solid inch and a half on each side of the headphone to adjust it to get it to fit your proper head size and personally I think that having these rails is still a lot better than having that little floating piece that's really more of a one-size-fits-all approach and I'm not the biggest fan of that because most of the time if you got a really big head or a lot of hair or whatever the case is unless the headset just happens to be really big if it's anything smaller then being big it's just not going to work out for you so i'm glad that they went with this especially since this is supposed to be aimed toward you know comfort and having a really high quality wireless audio experience now these do feature rgb as well when they're on let me go ahead and uh, turn them on for you real quick so you guys can see the little lights but it's really nice 
The RGB is not necessarily the uh, the brightest, but it is there. So, you know, if you live stream or whatever, it's a nice little accent to have on your headset. And you can control the RGB and the different colors in the software as well. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. So if you guys choose to purchase this, you guys can mess around with it, try it yourself and get your audio set up the way that you like. Now, in terms of the microphone, eh, it's not the best microphone that I've ever heard. Let's drop a quick sound test so you guys can hear how it sounds and let me know what you think. So this is gonna be just a quick sound test of the Creative SXFI theater headset with the built-in microphone. I think the microphone sounds okay, but I do wanna use this as an opportunity to talk about a couple other things as well. So in the software, let's talk about that SXFI mode. Basically, you download an application on your phone, and then you scan pictures of both your ears and your face, and it's supposed to do like a mapping of your head, and you'll see it stored in your profile when you go back to your PC. And I will say that that SXFI mode does make everything sound a lot more alive and a lot less boring than it does if you have that mode off. But if you leave it off, it does sound a little bit more analytical. When you turn it on, it definitely does sound a lot more fun. In game, it does help just a little bit to open up the sound stage a bit, but it's still a closed back headphone, so you don't get uh, the same feeling that you would from an open back headphone if you're worried about the uh, the gaming performance. But all in all, it does still sound a lot boomier than if you have it off, and the low end is still really, really present. The mids get a little bit drowned out with the SFX. Oh my God, tongue twister, I swear. SXFI mode and the highs are present but they're not as crystal clear as they could be but like I said this is more of like a theater media experience type of headphone so just kind of keep your expectations there so you're not thinking that this is going to be like some crazy audiophile headphone it's a very fun sounding sound but I wouldn't call it the most accurate sound but it is very enjoyable to listen to so again this is not a gaming headphone so maybe the mic priority wasn't really that big of a deal to them but there's another headphone that looks very similar to this one design wise that is focused toward gaming and if i just tried this and i'm like well maybe i want to get the matching one for gaming i would really hope that the mic would be either very similar or the same if not a little bit better and this isn't really inspiring much confidence of that so if i do try that one out i really hope that the microphone is better now one weird issue that i had with this headphone is that for some reason the mic would not really connect in discord like i got it to connect one time but maybe like a discord update broke the microphone compatibility for this headphone i don't really know why that would be the case being as all my other headphones and mic setups work with discord it just happens to not work with this one for some reason so that's really weird maybe creative has to send out a new software update or something to get that corrected the battery life is rated up to 30 hours i never got to that 30 hour mark i'll use it for about you know, 10 15 hours at a time and it did drop about 40 percent battery life after about 15 hours of use but pretty much whenever i use wireless headphones after like a couple days i'll usually plug them back in just so that the next time i'm playing or you know listening to music or whatever i don't want them to die while I'm using them so I typically plug them up every couple days just because it's force a habit and it's more of a responsibility thing than anything now we get to um the hard part of this so these headphones are 200 bucks I, mm, mm, I don't really think I would pay $200 for these I would pay maybe a hundred and twenty or hundred and thirty dollars for these but 200 I feel like it's just a little steep for 200 bucks, I know that these are wireless, but I feel like I could probably get a little bit better headset that could do very similar things to this headphone for gaming and listening to music and watching movies and all that stuff. And I kind of get what they're trying to do. You know, they wanted to make something that was like, you know, for the movie watching experience and all that stuff. But I feel like it misses on a couple different marks that make it not worth the $200 price point. The sound quality, I think, is around, you know, the $130, maybe $150 max area in terms of the sound quality. The comfort, I will swap out the ear pads and then I will give the comfort a pass for sure. The battery life, battery life is good. The connection, the connection is good. The microphone, eh, it's alright, but not the best. And with this not really being a gaming headset, 
and there is a gaming version out. I just wonder how much different the gaming version is to this one and if it's more of a software thing or if it's just the drivers are a lot different or whatever. So we'll see if I check that one out in the future. But this one, mm, 200 bucks, not get my money. 130 bucks or 140, 50 bucks on sale. I would more heavily consider it because it is a pretty good and well-rounded headset, but it's just, the price is just a little steep for me. But all right, you guys, that is gonna be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Again, big shout out to Creative for sending this out for review. And just wanna thank you guys uh, again for supporting the channel, watching, joining the Discord, all that good stuff. I'm gonna be having some giveaways starting up pretty soon here, so stay tuned. And uh, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Thanks for tuning in. I will catch you in the next video.